everyone let's understand what do you mean by angel curve angel curve that indicates always relationship between the income level and the quantity of a commodity purchased while ignoring the information on the quantity of the other commodity purchased it reflects behavior of a person of a household when income is increasing and how a person is purchasing one particular commodity we are not talking about other commodities we are talking about only one commodity and rest of the commodities or and the other behavior that would be constant so here is on the y axis we have taken income you can see that is income on the y axis earlier it was m1 now m2 now m3 and how a person is investing or they are doing expenditure on this particular commodity so m1 here is n1 quantity is purchasing when the income is m2 purchasing n2 quantity when the income is m3 then the customer is purchasing m3 quantity and when we will touch all these points so that would become angel curve here is income consumption curve also income consumption curve that simply traces out the income effect on the quantity consumed of the goods so income effect can be either positive or negative you can see here this is on the y axis we have taken one particular commodity these are oranges on n axis x axis we have taken mangoes and these lines showing budget line green one these are budget lines so we can see when the budget line is this means customers income is this so he was purchasing m1 quantity of oranges and n1 mangoes but later on and this that was the indifference curve ic curve where it is tangent that means that is the satisfaction equivalent point then we come to the m2 quantity he is purchasing and n2 quantity he is purchasing right so that is reflecting here is this is the satisfaction point same way when the budget line is increased n3 and m3 and further is n4 and m4 when we would connect all these satisfaction point that will become icc means income consumption curve means as per the income income effect on the quantity consumed of the goods and how the income is increasing and customer they are increasing their commodity consumption income consumption curve and angel curve what is the similarities and difference you can see angel curves angel curve relates the quantity of good consumed to income if the good is a normal good the angel curve is upward slope sloping if the good is an inferior good the angel curve is downward sloping why because normal good means these are the goods those are the Uh, those are the normal necessary items or we can say these are the normal goods but inferior goods means those are as our income will increase our standard will increase so we would like to shift inferior goods to superior goods let's say earlier a person who is using refined oil and now because they he want to use desi ghee or we can call it uh, some some uh, olive oil and uh, earlier he could not be able to consume this particular commodity because his income was less so now his income is he can afford this olive oil that is cost there as comparatively to simple refined oil so now he would shift from normal kind of refined oil to the olive oil so inferior good here is if the good is inferior good the angel curve is downward sloping but if the normal good that would be upward sloping and uh, income and substitution effect a fall in the price of good has two effects always one is substitution effect and the one is income effect substitution effect means consumer will tend to buy more of the goods that has become relatively cheaper and less of the goods that is now relatively more expensive that is substitution but income effect said consumers experience an increase in real purchasing power when the price of good falls for example a person who is earning 10000 rupees per month and uh, mango prices earlier it was or we can say let's say not mango petrol prices he was uh, uh, doing expenditure of 2000 rupees per month out of these 10000 10000 rupees but uh, 
earlier was price was 100 rupees per liter and let's say now price is 80 rupees per liter so he is consuming same quantity of that petrol but he is invest he is doing expenditure less so ultimately his real purchasing power is increased so whatever is earlier he was doing expenditure of 2000 rupees as per the multi when we were multiply by 100 rupees per liter but now it is 80 rupees so he is going to uh, doing expenditure of 1600 only 400 rupees he is saving so those 400 rupees he is saving he can doing expenditure on some other commodities so ultimately his real income is increased so in that way we can uh, we can understand these concepts income and substitution of fact income consumption curve and angel curve the income consumption curve and uh, this one is the angel curve so i hope this video would be helpful keep watching institute